Mommy Talk, the champions of parenting, Dr. Pert, Miss Lisa, and Miss April. Real, relatable, and right on time. Mommy Talk provides information for all facets of parenting. Listen and engage as the champions of parenting bring their experience and expertise to the world of parenthood. Our listeners can expect to receive encouragement and resources that can help them with positive parental engagement. Come talk to us. Hey, hey, what up, though? Representing Detroit Metro Area Champion Parents. Welcome to Mommy Talk, where our goal is to get parents excited about being mothers and fathers by providing information and resources to inspire positive parental engagement. I have some exciting news. Our website just got updated. Check it out at mommytalk.com. We also have some free workshops, Chicken and Chatting with Champion Parents, coming up this summer. You can register to attend by going to the website or visiting our Facebook page, Mommy Talk Network. Ooh. Two workshops will be held on the west side at the Northwest Activity Center on Myers in Detroit, and the other... Workshop will be held at Sacred Heart Church on Rivard Street in Detroit. Our website will be continuously updated, so if you have a question on how you can continue to be a champion parent, check us out at mommytalk.com. We'd like to thank all of our supporters and listeners for tuning in to our shows and providing feedback. We really like you, champion yes, parents. Yeah. Yes, so you can also register for our events on our uh, social media page. On Facebook also. Oh, cool. That's what's up, Miss April. Um, if you have a question or want to engage in conversation with us, call us at 313-837-1340. So, ladies, how was your weekend? My weekend was awesome. And you know what? I want to give a shout-out to Detroit Public Library. They have awesome resources that help with business planning um, they have tutoring for children they have different workshops so I was really engaged and visit the Detroit library particularly today and they are just very very uh, resourceful oh cool and this is Miss Lisa responding my weekend was absolutely beautiful I enjoyed church enjoyed church yesterday uh, made new connections and it's just always good to be spiritually fed so church was awesome weekend was awesome amen that is wonderful and before we begin today's show on obesity there are so many negative reports um, our and things that our children may hear or see in the media that can negatively affect them. So as a champion parent, it's up to you to say the trend stops right here in my household. My children will not be a statistic. Make a commitment to love your child, guide their decisions, and support them in areas that are needed. So yes. let's not lose another child to a negative self-fulfilling prophecy. Nazinga Lejeune, author of Writer and Justice, a collection of poems available for sale at waterandjustice.com, has a poem entitled Suicide is Not an Option. Miss April, please read this poem. <laughs> Suicide is not an option. You might get tired. You might get weak. Remember, life is a gift. Live and be peace. You will get discouraged. You will feel alone. Don't ever think life is a curse. You were born to learn. God is preparing you. Lessons will build your knowledge. Then wisdom will follow. Just keep breathing each day. And when you don't understand life, when you think you had enough, God will give you understanding. Overcome your negative thoughts. Have confidence in your dreams. Think through your pain. Strategize your sorrow. Suicide is not an option by Zinga Lejeune. Beautiful. That was very powerful. Very powerful. Let's say it again. Suicide is it's not, not an, an option. option. That's right. right. Keep that in mind out there, uh, champion parents. Thank you so much for that powerful poem, uh, Miss April. It's amazing how words can inspire people. Today we will discuss childhood obesity, a topic that affects many households in America. Keep in mind that everyone is not going to be skinny, that people come in many different shapes and sizes. What's some shapes out there, ladies, that people Oval. come in? Oval. Pear. Pear. Heart. Square. 
<laughs> flat. <laughs> SpongeBob SquarePants. Yes, but whatever shape you are, work with what you have. Absolutely. Be confident. That's right. Wear it. Wear it proudly. We want to make a conscious effort so that uh, we take care of our bodies and our children's bodies. So, ladies, what is obesity? So obesity, uh, according to the uh, dictionary, is um, defined as being grossly fat or overweight. That definition to me just sounds so, it's so wrong, but um, it's being overweight. And um, so doctors usually use the uh, BMI or uh, body mass index. Um, and again, this is uh, Miss Lisa responding. Uh, the BMI for the uh, age growth chart. And so according to the BMI chart, uh, you're overweight if you fall within the 85 to 95 percentile, but um, obese would be above the 95 percent. Um, yeah, that percentile. BMI chart needs to be updated. It does. <laughs> yeah, because it it's I definitely, definitely agree. yeah. So a lot of people are obese based on those standards. Yes. But yeah, so uh, this is Miss. April talking. So obesity means to me is a disorder involving excessive body fat that increases um, health and health concerns. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's usually self-diagnosable, and there may be no symptoms other than weight that's above normal. And common habits that can lead to obesity include binge eating and continuously eating, not putting the fork down. And sometimes I'm guilty of that. Ladies, oh, yeah. are you? I'm very guilty of not yes. pushing away from the table. Yeah. Eating is definitely a challenge because you become more habitual when you know, you're younger and you're just eating yes. the fast food and you're not necessarily caring about you, what you eat. And now, you know, it's more healthy and there's more awareness to eat healthier. It's just de definitely a hard thing to switch over. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And then one of the things, I'm sorry, uh, one of the things, this is Miss Lisa responding. Uh, one of the things that I was uh, reading on was um, it asked, what are you doing when you're eating? Do you sit down at your table and eat or do you eat in front of the TV? And I know that I am guilty if we've been out all day uh, with my children and we come home and we'll get food and I'm like, you know what? See y'all in a minute because <laughs> I'm going to my room and eat my little whatever uh, watching my favorite show. And so the thing about it is mental. If you're sitting in front of the TV eating, you know, you're in tune to the TV, it shuts something down in your brain and it makes you want to eat more. Yeah, and then the um, accessibility for fast food is yes. easy. You got DoorDash, you got Uber Eats. So yes. accessibility to the fast food and not necessarily the more healthier foods is also, you know, a habit. And sometimes people just eat because it tastes good. Yes. That's what I do. <laughs> and because it's there. Yeah. Yes. And then sometimes, you know, people out there may be going through something and, it, and, it, and eating provides them comfort. It's yeah. like comfort food. So, um, well, last year I know I, uh, with the loss of my mom, I definitely um, ate for, you know, I, what, it, what do you call it, grief eating. Mm -hmm. um, I put on quite a bit of weight. I mm -hmm. won't say how much, but that's okay because we're going to work it out, work it off. But, um, yeah, grief eating. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. As parents, when our children, and think about this because I'm guilty of this. Can we just remind the callers also to call in? Please call in callers, 313-837-1340. Uh, uh, yeah. And so um, I notice with my younger children uh, when they start crying, I'll say, oh, do you want a piece of candy? Do you want some juice? I, yeah. Are you all guilty of that? Yes. Like, yes. You know? I think it's more so that we've heard it, so we're kind of trained. And it's a yes. matter of going back and retraining things. Like, oh, you want a piece of fruit? Right. You know, right, yeah. Right. Yeah, so next time I'll say, do you want a piece of fruit? Because I notice one of my children, they'll just eat eat, mm -hmm. eat. And I noticed, I said, oh my goodness, they have a pot belly. And I said to myself, the tree stops here in yes. my household. So I'm making a conscious effort as a champion parent to monitor what my children eat. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pay attention to their weight. And I'm going to allow them to be physically active. Yes. Physical activities include like cheerleading, riding a bike, playing games. What else, ladies? Racing. Yeah, plan, taking your kids to the park, or you could take them to the recreational center. So one of my favorites, I this is Miss Lisa, um, in the kitchen, turn on the music, clean up, dance, like 
there's no tomorrow. Do the hustle. Hey. <laughs> and this is Miss April. My favorite is yoga. I love yoga uh, yeah. because it teaches you flexibility, helps calm your mind, yes. and brings you to a serene place. Absolutely. Yeah, we've done yoga together mm -hmm. before. Yeah, we have to start that again. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make a conscious effort together to do yoga. Be more health conscious. Absolutely. Um, so champion parents out there, I invite you to do the same. So if you let your child become obese, they may experience fatigue. Uh, they may be sluggish, overweight, have mood swings, be sad, and possibly be teased by peers. Mm -hmm. So obesity can be avoided and prevented if you monitor your child's eating habits and make them be physically active champion parents i believe in you we believe in you let's do it let's prevent obesity together yes yes and mm -hmm. have fun with it yeah miss april please tell parents how they can be a champion at parenting by helping their child cope with obesity thank you dr pert for your phenomenal part um as a parent few things are cuter than your full cheek baby or the chubby knees of your toddler when I said this, I thought of those adorable babies with the cute little arms and legs, and you just like, oh, hey, cute baby. <laughs> so they are too adorable. For some children, that adorable baby fat may turn into a health concern. If you're watching your child struggle with weight, you may feel alone or helpless. In reality, you are neither. Childhood obesity affects an enormous number of families around the world, but the, majority, but the vast majority of these cases are preventable and can still be reversed. With support, encouragement, and positive role modeling, you can help your child reach and maintain a healthy weight. Understanding how children become overweight is the first place in an important step towards breaking the cycle. Most cases of childhood obesity are caused by eating too much and exercising too little. Children need support, enough food to support healthy growth and, and development, but when they take in more calories than they burn throughout the day, the result is they gain weight. So causes of weight Problems in children may include busy families cooking at home less and eating out more, the fast food, easy access to cheap, high-calorie fast food and junk food, the four-for-fours, the dollar menus. Mm. I'm guilty of that. Uh-huh, yeah, that was four-for-four, four, <laughs> yes. Yeah, I thought it was five-for-five. Five. Is it four-for-four? Four. Four. It's four-for-four. Four. Four-for-four four. Four 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 okay. at Wendy's. Yeah, okay. yeah, four-for-four. Four. Um, bigger okay. food portions, both in res restaurants and at home. Children consume a huge amount of sugar and sweetened drinks and high-end array of foods. Children spending less time actually playing outside and more time watching TV, playing video games, and sitting at the computer. So now, nowadays, Twin, you don't see kids outside playing. No. You see they're in the house uh, playing games or playing with each other or just in the house watching TV. So nowadays... Um, the current child, children, you know, you don't see kids outside playing. You know, kids don't come knock on the door and say, oh, can such and such play out? I remember that was very important with us growing up. So Absolutely. nowadays, that's not necessarily as uh, popular. Do your kids go outside and play? Oh, absolutely. This is Dr. Pert. One of the things uh, why I wanted to stay in the city because I love children playing on the block. And my block, there's a lot of children on oh, there. Oh, good, And the good. children are very active with wow. one another. And I that when I bought my house, I made a conscious decision, like, I want my kids to be active and go outside and, and be in the community and play. So, yeah. Well, that's good that you have a community that in, um, endorses that because a lot of communities, they don't, you know. Know, a lot of kids just stay in the house like I know my kids when they were younger like about um six seven yeah but when they were eight nine, they more so stayed in the house mm. and so that was one of the things that I thought about this is Miss Lisa responded one of the things I thought about when I bought my home um, because a lot of the houses in Southfield I was looking at Southfield at first a lot of the houses in Southfield don't have uh, sidewalks mm -hmm. and so it was very important to me that I purchased a home that had uh, sidewalks but anyway um, mm -hmm. around my home um, there's not a lot of kids that play outside, but my son, he is, I don't care what we're doing. If we go in, he, we might uh, go in the house for a minute, you know, be running back and forth. But anyway, he has to go out and he's going to jump on his scooter. He's mm -hmm. going to jump on he's his gonna bike. He's going to run around the block. He's going to run up and down. Right. So he <laughs> loves to play outside. You know, yeah. um, my daughter, you know, who's 15, I have to 
kind of make her go outside, go outside, get some fresh air, put the phone down. Mm -hmm. Take a walk around the corners. Or walk yes. around the corner with her brother because her brother going to be gone around that corner. <laughs> uh -huh, Dion don't play. Uh, yeah. So, and then many schools are eliminating or cutting back their physical education program, which yes. limit our kids' uh, physical activity. Mm -hmm. But there's plenty you can do to help your children. Diagnosing weight problems and obesity in children as early as possible can reduce their risk of developing serious medical conditions as they get older. And by getting the whole family involved, you can break the cycle of weight problems and obesity, boost your children's physical and mental health, and help them establish a healthy relationship with food that will last a lifetime. Whatever your child weight is, let them know that you love, you love them, and that all you want to do is to help them be happy and healthy. Absolutely. Yeah, so, Ms. Lisa, let's discuss the treatment for obesity and education. Wait, but on before obesity. you wait, be, yes. but before you say that, I do want to say that Detroit Public Schools Community District now offers PE and health and um, in all of the K through 12 classrooms. Awesome. Okay, awesome. way to go, DPS. Yeah, and, and sports as well. Yes. Well, yeah, they really pro prominent in the sports, but do they? Because um, I don't know, I don't not really in the elementary or middle schools, but do I guess they do still have resources? Because I know I see Flex kids, they are outside playing on the um, playground. We are discussing a very needed topic, uh, which is obesity and how to be a champion parent at uh, managing or helping your child to manage their weight. Uh, one of the things that you can do is definitely make sure that you are up on your uh, doctor visits and when you go to the doctor visits uh, you can take you should write down questions, take questions uh, so that you can um, engage and find out what to do um, to aid your child in um, helping them to lose weight and to uh, manage. Do you guys ever, uh, when you go with your children uh, to the doctor, do you ever discuss uh, weight issues? Oh, yeah. Um, this is Dr. Pert. Um, when I was new to parenting, um, I was nervous that my daughter was underweight. And actually, she was. And so what we did was the doctor said, just make sure that you're uh, feeding her healthy meals throughout the day. And if she wants a snack, give her a snack. And so I followed those uh, rules that yeah. the doctor gave me. And, um, hey, my daughter doing good right now. Hey. hey. We have a caller. Okay, caller. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Hello. Hi, welcome to Mommy Talk. I just want to commend you guys on the topics. Your topics be phenomenal. I just, I love your show. Thank you. Um, and on the obesity, I just feel that um, the children don't go out a lot, and they're playing um, the computer all the time. And um and it's and it's so dangerous. So yes, it's it's different. It's different from when I was younger. Mm -hmm, where yes. the kids would play out on the block, and you yeah. know you have more of a community. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely different. It's not definitely common. It's more rare. Yes, and I think that that's why a lot of parents are reluctant to even send their kids outside because of that. And then they would need more, um, like groups or community centers that. Yes. Yeah, like the YMCA's. Remember we had that, the YMCA's? Mm -hmm. And you know what, and that's actually good because I actually called in on the uh, Telford uh, show the other day, and they were discussing the old Dexter Elmhurst Center. And the Dexter Elmhurst Center, when I was growing up, was very instrumental to, like, activities and social skills. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, the kids, that's why they lack social skills. It's easier for them to send text and yes. play on a computer. But we actually we really interacted with other with other kids yes yes and you know it built our communication skills and like you Absolutely. said our social skills yes. yes yes and it just brought us closer together as a black community or as a, a community as a whole you're yes. right you're Everybody. right yes so caller thank you so much for calling in are you a champion parent yes i am woohoo yes thank you for thank calling thank you so much Bye. 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 Hi, caller. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Hello. Hi. We can hear you. 
Okay. I was just calling to say that your topic about obesity is very good. And ladies, you do a good job. And it is very important that kids these days, they be more active because now, like everybody is saying, we have those computers and, you know, you can play games on your computer. You can watch TV. And that's what the kids like to do today. But we need to teach them to be more active. Yeah, yes, so sure. absolutely. It's the parent's responsibility to make your child be active. Yes. Get up, get out. And do something. That's right. Yes. yes. Parent, are you a champion at parenting? I'm a champion at parenting. Woohoo. You sound like one. Thank you for the call. Thank you for calling. Okay. Have a good day, ladies. Okay, you too. Have a good you evening. You too. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. 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 Yeah. Look like we have another caller. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Hi, this is Shauna Gordon. Can you Hi. hear me? Yes, we can hear you. You're on the air. Oh, okay. Okay. So I was calling in, re- in regards to the topic. And what I do a lot with my daughter is we kind of just have to make it a mommy and me type thing. Mm-hmm. Like, I like yoga. I had to find mm-hmm. classes that I could do, bring her with me. Or if I was going to go somewhere and there's a, a closer option, we need to ride our bikes. Or, Absolutely. you know, just kind of trying to make it an activity more so than a task Yeah, is really helpful. And then also, even when it comes to diet, instead of asking those open-ended questions like, what do you want to eat? Yes. Instead of saying that, saying, hey, would you like some grapes? Would you like some strawberries? Or would mm-hmm. you like some cucumbers? Um, so I think we just have to be more intentional about the way that we live our lives, and then that will automatically translate into our children's lives. Yes. You have well an awesome said. point. Yeah, that is well a- actually said. actual. Yeah. So, Ms. Gordon, I'm going to just uh, say that you are a champion champion parent I was going to ask you but uh, you are a champion parent and thank you so much for calling thank you have a good evening. thank you okay so uh, with the doctor visits uh, these are just questions that you can just prepare some good questions that you may want to um, ask your doctor you know what other health problems are your child likely to develop you know what are treatment options are there medications that might help um, although I'm, I'm against medications but that's my own personal opinion but you can also you can ask the doctor um, if there are medications yeah. that I, would I'm help I'm against it too but some yeah. children need it yeah absolutely mm-hmm. uh, how long will treatment take uh, what can I do to help my child lose weight are there brochures or other printed material that I can have? Uh, what websites uh, do you uh, recommend? Uh, looks like we have another caller. Caller, welcome to Mommy Talk. Thank you. Hi, how are you? Hi, good, how are you? We're fine. Good, thank you. Good, good. I just had a question. What do you guys suggest for motivating families to become more active? So you can do things together as a family. Maybe, um, I know a lot of families, they plan, uh, they do bowling uh, tournaments together. I've seen family uh, families do like uh, basketball games, baseball games. So I think that, um, and maybe you can do a survey and ask uh, different family members what would be some ideas, you know, of uh, physical activity that you want to participate in together. And then that way maybe you guys can just kind of take turns, you know, take this idea, this idea, this idea, and, you know, do it together as a family. Teamwork makes the dream work. And it doesn't always have to cost. Yes. You can find Free. activities like going to the park. Yes, mm-hmm. the River Walk and Bell Isle. Hey. That's my place. All right. Let's go Saturday. <laughs> Caller, are you well, a champ? Sounds great. Oh, yes. great. Yes, I'm a champion mom. You sound like a yes. champion mom. Say it again. I'm a champion mom. Yeah. Yes, and happy early Mother's Day. Mother's Day is coming And the same to you guys, too. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. I love excited callers. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. absolutely. It is. It is. Hi. Welcome to Mommy Talk. Hello? Hi, Hello. Carla. Hi. Is it me? Yes, it's on you now. <laughs> okay, so look, I was like 289 pounds, so I had got really discouraged, and it was like cause and effect of my fertility, so um, that's how I found out I was obese. So my doctor, she had sat there and um, made me watch my sugars, 
she first she made me watch my sugar. So that's what took me with losing my weight loss. So my weight loss journey. I went from two eighty nine to one ninety nine. Wow. And my first month, yeah, in my first month, and this was all within last year. So my first Beautiful. month, I lost like twenty pounds from strictly cutting sugars completely for thirty days. But awesome. I carried that on, yeah, because it messed up my. After that, it messed up my sugar intake to where I couldn't process sugar like that. Okay. So it limited my intake on sugars, but I have lost a lot of my gut tremendously, and I thought I was going to get surgery, lady. But <laughs> I lost a lot of my. When I was in a three X. And I am now in a one next. No, oh, wow. yeah. that's awesome. That's We're beautiful. very proud of you. Yes, congratulations. Yes. You have to share your diet. Yes, it's strictly no sugar. Like I be, I be losing my mind. I don't get too out of control when I'm like the week before my period. But for a lot of black women, I'm not being funny. We have to watch our sugar in general because we are more susceptible to diabetes than Absolutely. sugar. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Sugar is not for us, really. Yes, yes. So I, I literally watch my sugars mainly. So that's like a lot of stuff. Okay. You got me plain chips, no bread. Okay. Um, I wash my meat, but I wash everything and I count my sugars. Because if you wash that sugars, you ain't going to gain no weight. Okay. 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 Yeah. Well, thank you well, for thank those you. helpful tips. Yes. We appreciate Man, you. You ladies have a good one, and I love this show. Oh, thank okay. You. Thank you. Thank, you. thank yes. you for calling. Have a good one. Wait, are have you a, a champion? Um, What's a champion? Yes, I am. A champion a parent. Oh, no, I'm not no parent. I wish. But you're a champion, now. though. Yes, I'm a champion. You a champion at losing weight? <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. Yes, yes, but no, not a <laughs> Amen. Yes, thank you for calling. <laughs> yes, y'all have a great day. Okay, you too. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. So exercise has uh, proven to burn calories and keep off weight. Um, so Let's Get Healthy Detroit is a program. Um, they offer fun and affordable ways to exercise. Their focus is on physical activity that doesn't feel like a- uh, exercise, and that's what we've been talking about. Have fun with it. Um, so Let's Get Healthy, uh, you can check them out there through the Henry Ford Health Center, and it's Let's Get Healthy at hfhs.org. The contact number is 313-874-6653. 653. Again, the number is 313-874-6653. Again, this is Miss Lisa. Thank you so much for tuning in to Mommy Talk today. Please visit our website at www.mommytalk.com and be sure to sign up for one of our summer series titled Chicken and Chatting with Champion Parents. All I'm right. looking forward to it. So the quote of the day, start over as many times as you need to and remember that quitting is not an op- option because life keeps on happening and so you may as well decide to live in it. By yours truly, I am Miss Lisa with Dr. Pert and Miss April, and we are signing off. Thank you. Have a good evening. Thank you. Thank you for listening to Mommy Talk, the champions of parenting. And remember, you too can be a champion of parenting. Continue to support and love your children. For additional information, you can contact us at info at mommytalk.com or visit our website at www.mommytalk.com. We can also be found via social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Mommy Talk Network. Please listen to us every Monday at 7.30 p.m. on WCHB Detroit's Gospel Station. Come talk to us.